шпигада. Аллилуйя. Присучи. Well, good morning, and welcome to Women of War, Mornings with God. Today's verse is found in Matthew chapter 11. Good morning, Sister Cynthia. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So the verse for this morning is found in Matthew Chapter 11, verse 28. And it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Now 29 and 30 also says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. But I want to focus on verse 28, which says, again, come unto me. So that tells me that we can go directly to God because Jesus is saying, come unto me, right? We can go directly. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. So sometimes life happens not sometimes, all the time. <laughs> because we live in a world that is a sinful world. And the devil has authority, all authority here on the earth. Amen. But our power lays within the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. And that still doesn't make us exempt from the things that go on in the world because this is where we live and this is where the enemy has his domain. So when life happens, you know, like we could be dealing with physical ailments in our body. It could be a job that we're not really happy at. It could be that we have family members that are battling you know, diseases and sicknesses and, and maybe that we have family members and friends that don't know Jesus. And I mean, there's a number, there's so many things. There's so many things that could be heavy laden upon us, you know? But if we go to God with it, it says here, he will give us rest. We can find rest in God. We can find rest, and his, in his rest is peace and fullness of joy. Amen? So, golden nugget of encouragement for this morning is, go to God with all the things that are weighing heavy on you today. And let him give you rest. Lay it all at his feet, and let him give you his rest. Amen. Amen. If you are watching this or watching later and you do not know Jesus, you have not confessed him as your Lord and Savior, but you want to, then I'm going to say this prayer and you can follow along. Amen. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus and I ask that you forgive me of all my sins. I believe with my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for saving me. In the name of Jesus, amen. And the Bible tells us in Romans 10, 9, that if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus died and was risen from the dead, we'll be saved. And in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. So if you said that prayer, you are free from sin. You are saved, sanctified, delivered, and set free. 
So I encourage you to get hooked up with a Bible-believing Christian church that preaches the uncompromised Word of God. And if you don't know how to do that, feel free to either message me or email me at Women of War Intercessors at gmail.com. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. Sister Cynthia, have a blessed day. Thank you for being so faithful and jumping on. I love you. I will see you guys tomorrow morning.